Hey guys, in this video, we're actually going to look into what we call as the web view vulnerabilities, right? So what is a web view? Uh, if you want to render a web page inside your app, right? So that's where we use web views. Um, so now the next question being, can we execute a web uh, JavaScript inside a web view, you know, and hijack the whole app? Can that be done? Um, even to even th till this day, a lot of apps, you know, still use web views, right? Because it allows the developers to display web content within the apps. And uh, especially, you know, you can uh, display the content for advertisements and so on. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. So what we are going to do here is we are going to start with uh, installing a vulnerable app, which is probably on my Santoku VM here, right? And uh, so this is a vulnerable app which requires a web server for its functioning. So this is the web server is also going to be on my Santoku VM. So that's why I have the IP address as being 192.168.16.212. So let me install this on my Genie Motion. So that's getting installed. Meanwhile, let's go down to my uh, yes. Yeah. Meanwhile, let's go down to my uh, Santoku VM and uh, set up this web server as well. Right, so we are setting up the web server. Now, when I refresh this, you can see, uh, you know, a text is basically displayed. Right, the text is displayed because there is a very basic HTML file, you know, kept in this server. Right, and that is basically what is getting displayed. May the force be with you. Right, now, now the whole idea is. Uh, can we uh, tamper with this, right? So how would we do it if we have to do it? So let me set up the proxy. Let me see if the proxy is already set up on this. So let's go to network. Let's go down here. Let's modify network 192.168.56.1, right? So which means the proxy is already set up. This is my, you know, burp suit, right? And, uh, you know, the settings are already there. Well and good. So let me turn on the uh, uh, intercepting, right? And let's go down to the app. Let's come down here. So let's refresh this. So when you refresh this, you can see the request has been caught here, right? Yeah. Great. So this is the request. Um, this is the request, um, you know, which we have to tamper so that we can edit or we can uh, you know put in some malicious code so we, I already have a payload over here and I kept ready right so I'm going to just remove this piece when I edit it and gonna change it to this right and now when I forward this what happens let's look at the app you can see you know the code has changed right it was supposed to be made the force may the force be with you but we were able to tamper the request, right, and uh, add a JavaScript, which in turn changed the DOM element from, you know, what it was actually supposed to be, right? It was supposed to be made the force be with you, that got changed to something else, right? And that is basically this. Think here, right? Great. So that is what we did. So um, this particular app was vulnerable to uh, web view vulnerabilities, right? So we were able to, whatever we injected was a very basic payload, but uh, we can actually put in even, uh, uh, you know, I would say dangerous payloads where we can probably go and edit the databases, probably go and uh, delete the databases and so on, right? So to summarize what we did here was we had an app here which is a, which is using web views uh, um, you know and because it is using web views we set up a simple server a python server which was rendering a very basic uh, html page which you know so the html page i can actually show you how the html page looks so it was uh, Right, so this was the basic HTML page, right, and it was supposed to always display may the force be with you. But what did we do when the request was sent out of the app? We intercepted it, you know, uh, using a proxy over here, like a burp suit, 
and we intercepted it and we edited the request and we then forwarded back to the app and as a result we were able to edit this particular text right from may the force be with you to hacked right so uh, that is basically the concept of uh, web view vulnerabilities thank you for watching